Hey there! My name is Gintare and in today's tutorial we will learn what is Web 3.0. You might have heard the latest tech buzzword, Web 3.0, but you might also find it hard to get a clear answer what the term actually means. Essentially, Web 3.0 or Web 3 is what many predicted to be the future of the Internet, where users will have total ownership of their personal data. Well, before I start explaining Web 3.0, let's rewind and learn some internet history. First, Web 1.0, which is when the internet started. Back then, the internet was mostly a bunch of static pages linking to one another, with very little interactions, such as logging into an account or interacting with forum posts. These pages were not profitable, and there were no ads, Difficult to imagine, isn't it? Users were consumers or readers, so people simply went to the internet to consume information. Then the internet evolved to what we know today, Web 2.0. With Web 2.0, it is all about interactivity. We interact with friends on Facebook, watch videos on YouTube, and so much more. Now, with all these interactions happening on the internet, our behaviors and online activities are recorded. Companies like Google, Facebook, YouTube, and more collect data about us so that they can adjust the content to our liking following our past behavior. The logic behind it is, if the content corresponds to what we often look for, we will stay longer on the website. But these companies also collect data about us to sell advertisers. In Web 2.0, there is more and more targeted advertising and less user privacy. There is a perception that in Web 2.0, data is monopolized by the tech giants. And that's where the idea of Web 3.0 came from. So what is Web 3.0? It is basically all about data ownership. The idea behind Web3 is that users can have full control over their personal data. And how does Web3 work? Well, Web3.0 is a decentralized online ecosystem based on the blockchain. So with Web3, every company will be run by DAO, which stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. It is governed equally by its members and it does not have a CEO, president or central authority. In theory, users will create a single personalized account where they can record their internet data on the blockchain. Then they'll have the freedom to decide what to do with their data. They can even sell it if they want to. Right now, tech giants like Google and Facebook are making a large profit from user data. But with Web 3.0, users will be able to get compensated for their time and data. Users would also be given virtual tokens or cryptocurrencies to become shareholders of the DAO. Users with tokens would have a say in any changes made in the company. This would give people control over their data. All operations would happen under a decentralized, distributed ledger technology, the blockchain. Not only that, but Web3 will also enable websites and applications to use data more meaningfully. The idea behind Web3 is that users get information faster, easier, and more efficiently. Imagine a new type of internet, where websites and apps will be able to process information in a human-like way using machine learning. With artificial intelligence, the internet would be able to accurately understand everything you convey online, whether through text, audio or other media. All content you consume will be more tailored to you than ever before. Another element to point out is that your digital identity in Web3 doesn't have to be connected to your real-world identity. In Web3, users can make purchases, download files and browse through the internet without having these activities traced back to real people. Better data services and control meaning that you would have complete privacy and ownership of your information. Optimized data processing. Using machine learning and artificial intelligence, it'll process data faster and better. And single profile creation. You only need to create one profile and you will control which platform can have your information. But we should note that Web3 is still an abstract concept. Right now, 
there are various ideas coming together for what Web3 should look like, so there is no strict definition of what is Web3.0 yet. First, Web3 is built on the blockchain, and not many people know how to use it. Second, the current goal of Web3 is to build decentralized products, so there is little to focus on user experience or user interface. Lastly, the regulation is still in the gray area when it comes to Web3.0. Even so, it is important to know what Web3 is about as many individuals and organizations are working towards making this idea a reality. To recap, Web 3.0 is a decentralized online ecosystem based on the blockchain. The idea behind it is that users should have full control over the data they provide while surfing the web. Even though Web 3 is still an abstract concept, understanding this term will help you stay ahead of it. So what do you think about Web 3.0? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. Make sure to subscribe to Hostinger Academy for more awesome content like this. See you next time!